Tonight, two vigils almost a thousand miles apart for a missing mother. Family and friends gathered in Salt Lake City, Utah, and here in Western Washington to honor Susan Cox Powell, now three months after she disappeared. Come for Shamari Stone is live in her hometown of Puyallup tonight. Shamari? Well, it was a very somber vigil. I was walking around, and some folks are wondering if Susan's husband, Josh, was going to show up. The last time they had a candlelight vigil here a couple months ago, he did show up. He was shielded under umbrellas and left the umbrellas when he was trying to leave. He is a person of interest in this case. Now, this candlelight vigil consisted of prayer, songs, and there was a unique moment in which Chuck Cox, Susan's father, played a voicemail message that was actually hooked up to the loudspeakers, and people actually heard Susan Powell teach her son how to sing. Let's listen. Chuck Cox plays an old message from his daughter Susan, allowing a crowd to hear her sweet voice at her candlelight vigil. This is the three-month anniversary of her disappearance. So, how are you feeling right now? Tired. Uh, worn down. <laughs> It's been a long three months. Susan's husband, Josh Powell, told investigators he took their two children camping in freezing temperatures the night she vanished near Salt Lake City. Her family and friends have spent the last three months worrying and waiting for an answer. Just where is Susan? What's the latest with the investigation? Although I know the police are doing everything they can do to find her, I don't know. I, I don't have a any idea of how the investigation is really going. And when it seems you struggle far too long. We have said from the beginning that Susan is a shining example of somebody who performed little acts of love wherever she went. Some were surprised Josh Powell didn't show up at the vigil. He lives nearby in Puyallup with their two kids. I think it's odd. I think he should be here. Do you find it odd that Josh Powell isn't here? No, I... I wish he was. I wish he'd come forward and talk to the police. Now, once again, Josh Powell is a person of interest in this case. I've tried to get a comment from him. Actually, a couple days ago, I knocked on his door, and a man on the other side says he won't comment. Get off the property. Now, I must point out that there is a $10,000 reward in this case for information leading to Susan's return. You can call the West Valley Police Department at 801. That's 840-4000. 801 840 4,000. We will definitely stay on top of this story, and you can follow it on our website at comonews.com. Live in Puyallup, I'm Shamari Stone, Como 4 News.